Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Mike here from Mike's Weather Page. It's Monday, October 25th, 5 o'clock somewhere. Tropical update. We still have to talk about the tropics. They're not officially over till November 30th is the uh, official National Hurricane Center end date. <laughs> we do have something to talk about. Nothing to worry about, but there is something to talk about. Um, here it is. So we have a new little circle on the NHC map here today. Uh, we have a low pressure area that's going to slide on into the lower Caribbean around Halloween. Boo. <laughs> boo. Literally boo. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be watching this thing. Here's, uh, here's a look at what's happening out there in the, in the, uh, the Atlantic. So this big old area of juice out here, the ITCZ line, they call it the Intertropics Convergence Zone, definitely firing up a lot of storms uh, out there today. This, this is an upper level low here pulling up this moisture, so this isn't what we're talking about. It will, however, have a little chance to become maybe subtropical for Bermuda in a few days. Um, but the area we're watching is somewhere down in here, and uh, models are pretty consistent that this is going to slide into the Caribbean to watch. Okay. Here is the current wind map here, which kind of shows lower level stuff. And you can kind of see these winds are starting to, uh, you know spin a little bit this whole general area so it's, it's definitely happening slow but uh nothing nothing solid yet and definitely nothing to worry about yet here's some latest models that were posted today these are on tropicaltidbits.com i put these together a lot over the years i love them kind of give it, it kind of builds the case that hey you know we got four models saying low pressure area um Can canadian a little more aggressive down here 996 gfs has been all over the place however same time stamp, nine, uh, November 1st. Icon's been really good at sniffing out systems in the early going. And even the Euro, even though you don't see it so much, there is circulation here uh, going a little bit farther south. But So there's four models showing something next week. Um, the um, in, in, actual individual model runs, I guess we'll show you the... So I'm not going to get into that yet. Let's show you the latest ensemble runs for the Euro. I love ensemble runs. These are all the different brains, different thinking important thing to note with the euro it's slowly been jumping on the idea of this every every 12 hours and these are the latest ones that just came out these are on weathernerds.org uh and what's kind of taken taken my interest here is that uh over the over the course of october 31st november 1st we're getting a lot of the ensemble members of the euro that's starting to mean high confidence among all of its members of the uh the european ensembles are starting to agree we can see something but we're also seeing a few of these pull to the north and that's not set in stone it's just enough to keep keep an eye on because that climatology says this is the spot to watch this time of year i'm going to show you history sh suggests there's a more likelihood that something gets pulled up and then northeast than going across um central america but we do have some doing that so important thing to note here this is 10 days out this is uh, uh november 4th long way away but like i said we're starting to see a few go up and a few go this way. So the Euro's definitely building more confidence. I, I suspect the, uh, the operational runs that we see every 12 hours will probably see a little more low pressure maybe overnight. But interesting to note, we're starting to see a fanning out of thinking. This is definitely early stages of um, development. Looking back in history, October 21st, 31st, you know, you, know, you can see quite a few uh, down here to get going. And eventually most of these turn north. Very few cross over. But, uh, you know, it can't happen. This is, uh, you know, a lot of activity for the end of October. And, and November 1st through 10th, we, we could still definitely uh, have activity. So the, I, you would say the hot spot in November now is over the Caribbean for sure. Reason why, this is our ocean heat content map. Uh, definitely warmer than normal for this time of the year. The reds indicate really deep hot water in the ocean hotter that wa uh, water goes below the surface the more fuel the system has to pull up because systems upwelling pull up water cooler water helps uh you know weaken systems so there's a lot of warm water in the caribbean uh looking at the bay news nine here local tv station mike clay uh love this channel they have a water temperature map and uh, we're still in the 83 84 even 85 range so plenty warm enough travel systems generally around 80 degrees is what they need um so that's you know, mean, doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean it's going to be anything to worry about. It just means that the season isn't over. Some people think it, it is over, but it's not. 
Um, let's see what else we can look at. And, and last, I guess, looking long range, I, I, I start to look at things like the, the sheer forecast. This is for November 4th, 5th, 6th. Uh, lighter colors like greens and blues are less wind shear. There really isn't anything setting up that indicates we're going to see any sort of a uh, strong jet or anything. So it, it will have a, a, you know, halfway favorable area down here to, um, to develop. So that's kind of where we're at. You know, another old school map here in October, uh, you can see the general motion has been kind of a curve and same with November. So definitely the hot spot. Uh, individual runs. We're not going to, you know, I guess we can go a little bit into this. You know, look at the latest euro. This is on tropicaltidbits.com, uh, November 1st. You can see weak low pressure here uh, showing up in the lower Caribbean with the euro. Weak goes west. It keeps it going west. Important thing to note with this, like I said, though, a lot of the ensembles are starting to develop it. A stronger system will naturally pull more north. So euro is slowly gaining confidence. We could see a little bit more stronger low pressure uh, developing. Uh, the GFS has been everywhere. The GFS has had a hurricane here, 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 and here, all within the last like 36 hours. So just be careful looking at the GFS. We, we follow this page a lot. It's been all over the place. You can really get, get worked up over individual model runs from the GFS. Important thing to show though on this is that, you know, October 31st, this is our spin. Uh, it all stems here coming, uh, towards the Lesser Antilles. This is uh, two days from now. So this whole general area that I just showed earlier is, is making its way across and it does have a little window that it's going to try to develop. You can see it. Um, and the GFS, like I said, it's kind of been everywhere. The latest one stops and goes, <laughs> goes the other direction. Uh, the main thing though is November 1st, November 2nd, the GFS is showing that. Going to our Canadian model, it's sped up a little bit. The Canadian model showing development chances down here. Halloween, very consistent with that. It actually is a little more west this run, uh, overnight run. It was a little bit more to the north. So, you, you know, you, you get the, the idea. It's a little too soon to be looking at highs and lows. A um, little too soon. Not You know, the upper air patterns change so much in the wintertime. We're into these wintertime fronts, and, and the timing of these fronts is everything. We get a lot of fronts this time of year. We're getting uh, upper golf is getting another one in four days, three days. So, get a lot of fronts they usually open the door for systems to pull north but right now you know the trends are a little bit more staying down there uh, too soon though yet to like I said to be too overly confident with that the icon kind of keeps it down there it only runs out 180 hours and there there you go so that's what we got I guess we could look at some upper level winds here with the euro it does the best I think uh, with the winds uh, if we go to November 1st there is showing a high pressure ridge to the north november 1st right here and uh, somewhere down here our system would be and if that's the case this would spin it you know obviously more west uh so we're going to see that confidence if this high pressure system on november 1st you know sticks around and uh, that'll be something that we're going to have to just wait and see so main thing at this point is that hey we got a little something something to maybe watch don't get all worked up if you're uh, in the in the United States yet. Uh, there's way too many variables out there. But if we do have people in the Caribbean watching, and uh, if this thing does turn north at all, it could impact Jamaica and Cayman Islands and Hispaniola, maybe Puerto Rico. So keep an eye on it. That's where we're at. I'm gonna do you know we do our daily live tomorrow morning 9:19 Eastern. Uh, I'll do another YouTube video tomorrow, which is uh, Wednesday. And uh, if this thing starts to develop more, we'll we'll start doing more lives at night. Um, but we'll tune in tomorrow 9:19 Eastern right here on YouTube. And we'll see what the overnight models bring. All right. So I'm on it. I'm watching. <clears throat> so as always, hey, thanks for um, subscribing to YouTube. Cheers to Diet Dude. To keep keep me uh, energized throughout the day. <laughs> it's beer tonight. Taco Tuesday. All right. We'll see you in the morning. Bye.